Hi YouTube, this is your girl Tiffany Rose and thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I'm so excited about what I have in store for you. I am gonna be doing a DIY project and my friend just recently called me and told me, Tiffany, I need some personalized water bottles to actually give to my girlfriend. So I was like, girl, I got you. So we recently um, spent time together when she came here to Tampa. So I actually did a welcome gift basket and then also I did some custom um, items as well. I did a makeup bag that actually had her name on it in the front and on the actual back, it actually said I'm enough with 2 Corinthians 12, 9. I'll make sure I put the scripture below as well. Um, but also I did her like a water bottle as well that had her name and also it said beach please on it with a pineapple. It was super cute and she loved it. Um, she loved it enough that she wanted to actually use the same idea that was on the makeup bags on these water bottles that she's gonna be giving to um, some of her friends. So she's actually hosting a woman's retreat at her house. They were originally supposed to go out um, to the actual retreat at a hotel. However, it wasn't able to happen because of the pandemic. So the retreat is gonna be online and she's hosting her friends over at her house. So she told me, um, that she wanted to do these bottles. So I was like, I'll be more than happy to help you. She actually sent me the water bottles from Amazon. I will show you here in a second and also put the link below as well. Uh, I actually used to have a custom gift basket and gift business um, a few years ago and I did um, custom items like custom t-shirts. I actually end up doing custom tumblers and anything you can think of. Um, I actually did it there for the custom gifts and I loved it. I love the way people feel and I like how people smile when they actually get something personalized and that is more personable um, to them. Um, however, I don't have the actual um, gift business anymore or the gift basket business, but I do like to still do gift baskets and do the personal items for my friends um, as hobbies um, and also just do little um, DIYs around the house as well. Um, when I actually had my business, I decided to do it, um, take it, you know, to another level. And so I actually invested in my business, in myself and bought me a Cricut machine. I'll definitely say the Cricut machine is a game changer. If you're in um, the game of doing custom gifts or custom items or t-shirts, anything like that, the Cricut machine is amazing. Um, I know a lot of people use the printal vinyl. I actually like using the actual vinyl itself because it's a little bit more versatile because you can do um, foils, you can do uh, more solid colors, and also you can do glitters as well. Um, today we're going to be just doing um, simple vinyls there um, for the project that we're going to be doing but I do want to go ahead and show you the items that I actually have that we're going to be using and then we'll kind of jump into the actual how to do things. So um, I actually bought my um, Cricut Explore Air 2 on Amazon. So I was kind of shopping around for the um, best machine that I actually can use there for um, these customers items that I was going to be making and so I decided to go with the Cricut Air. Um, I actually found, like I said, on Amazon the great thing is, is that Amazon, they have bundles. And so the bundle came with a lot of tools that I actually needed in order to do my project. Um, it came with the um, weeding tools, the scraper. It came with um, also some markers for the Cricut machine and then also some testing vinyls. And um, when I say it was a great value, um, it was about 300 bucks or so for the actual kit. I know that when you get to go to the store, you can get the Cricut machine itself a little bit cheaper, but it just comes with your basic things. Um, I decided to go with the Explore Air 2 because it was gonna do what I needed to do for my business. They have other ones that have recently came out there um, that are a little bit more higher end, just, just depending on what you're looking to do there. Definitely do your research, do your due diligence and see which one works best for you. I would say the bundle kit is really great for, for beginners, people that are just doing it for hobbies and not necessarily doing it for a business. Um, but um, let me go ahead and show you the items that we're gonna be using today. So we're gonna be, of course, using my Cricut machine. I did buy the mint, I love the mint. It's really, really beautiful. Um, we're also going to be using these three tools today. Um, the scissors that came with the machine, 
the weeding tools to actually weed out the unnecessary vinyl that we're not going to use or um, to put on the um, bottle. And also we're going to be using a scraper here. Now this isn't the scraper that actually came in the bundle. What happened was I lost my scraper. So I actually have to buy, I had to buy a new one on Amazon and I'll actually put the link below for that one. And um, also we're going to be using two standard grip sheets and these grip sheets are really great. Um, this, this is pretty much the key when you're putting anything in your Cricut machine and um, you actually have to have the grip sheets. Now this one is just going to be the standard grip and this is a 12 by 12. So we're going to be using two of these. I definitely recommend having um, either the 12 by 12 multiple ones of them or also um, get the um, 12 by 24. Uh, when you're doing multiple items um, or doing bigger projects, it just makes it a lot easier so you don't have to just use one over and over again. And I learned it the hard way and I was like, let me go buy some more grip sheets but we're going to be using this i did run out today to get vinyl and i actually got the vinyl from my michael's and i ended up paying a dollar 99 for each little sheet here i believe that these are 12 by 12 um, vinyls this is permanent um, vinyl so anything that you're going to be putting it on like um, the water bottle or if you're going to be putting it on a cell phone case whatever you're going to be doing there you want to use the permanent vinyl not the iron on you don't want to use any of the other ones um, these ones are really good these is this is oracle if, um, Oracle 651 and the great thing about these are um, that the adhesive is really strong. Um, I haven't seen anything come off with this one. Um, I always advise anyone that I make the water bottle hand wash it only. Don't soak it in water because it can end up making the vinyl come up there. So um, these are really awesome. Um, now as I mentioned, these were $1.99. I actually have a Michael's Rewards program, so I actually got 20% off with the coupon and got 20% off of just one of them. Saved me a few pennies, so it wasn't much, um, but my friend wanted to go for a really super girly girl look, so she decided she wanted to do pink. So we actually have the hot pink, and also we have like this light pink bubblegum pink. And she actually ordered these bottles off of Amazon. Um, as I mentioned, I'll put the link um, below as well. Um, but I love these. She shipped them directly to my house. And uh, when I got them, I immediately took them out of the package and I fell in love with them. I actually use other tumbler cups, um, but these are really great because they're glass. Um, also, they are um, BPA um, free as well, which is really awesome. Um, but I love the little handle that actually has on the lid. And then also it comes with a sleeve that actually has a handle on it as well. Now I'm going to actually take the sleeve off so you actually can see the bottle and um, it's really nice. I love that it's nice, um, tall and slender and um, it's, it's just a really nice bottle all together. But what we're going to be doing, we're going to actually put the name here um, vertically and when you turn it this way, you'll be able to see the name horizontally. Um, but then on the back here, you're going to have the um, I'm enough on it and then you'll see the second Corinthians 12 9 on here as well. So I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It's just a really nice. Okay, you guys, I am back and I am in my Cricut Design Space. What you want to do is make sure that you download the Cricut Design Space and also kind of play around with it. Um, just for timing, I have already um, typed up the names that I'm going to be putting on the bottles and also the design is already uploaded. That's going to be the I'm Enough with 2 Corinthians on there. Um, so I've already put that in there. Um, what first thing that I want to do before I get into the designs I want to actually measure my bottles um, so that I can know how long and how wide I want the designs to be and um, so what I have I have the bottle here and I have my measuring tape and so you guys can actually see here um, I have my measuring tape I want it to start um, right about here for the beginning of the name and I want it for me 
probably want it to be six and a half there um, long when it comes to the names. So that's something that we're gonna um, see here. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for that for the names. Now for the back here, I'm gonna actually have I'm Enough here and then the second Corinthians here. So the I'm Enough, um, I just want that, I don't want it too big. I think I'm gonna go with two and a half. And for the I'm Enough, I just wanted to stretch a little bit longer underneath the um, I'm Enough. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with three. Um, I might decide to go with um, three, um, 3.25. So just make a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and get into the designs here. So what I'm going to do, so as you can see here on the right side here, um, you see the letters um, A-H-T-S-N, and those are basically the names that I'm going to be doing. So we're going to actually go ahead and just un cover mine. So the great thing about Cricut is, is that if you're doing multiple different projects, you're able to kind of type them out um, to kind of see what they look like. And this little eye here is so that you can hide it. So I unhid it so I can see it on my canvas. And um, the font that I actually um, use here is Super um, Coronon. Um, and um, what I'm going to be doing is Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna adjust the width to the 6.5. Now, the great thing is, is that with Cricut, it automatically suggests a height when you change the width. And for this project, I'm gonna go ahead and let my system guess on what I what the height should be for the actual font there. Now, with that one being a little bit under one, inch there. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how wide that is going to be. So that looks like it would actually end up being probably right about there. Now what I'm going to do, because I do want it to be a little bit wider there for the bottles, um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and measure it out. So for the name, I probably want it to be, I'll say probably a good one and a half there, um, just to give it um, a little bit of dimension there so it can be a little bit wider because as you can see, the design will be very, very um, thin there if I do the recommended. So it's always good to kind of measure, get your measuring tape and measure out what you would want it to be. Now, um, so I'm gonna do one and a half and then I'm gonna do it by six and a half there. Now, what you do to do that, you're gonna go ahead and use the lock and you're gonna unlock it. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type in 1.5, enter. Now, it looks a little bit stretched out there, but I promise it's gonna look right when we actually um, do it on the bottles. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna do this on each of the designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start unlocking each of the designs and putting in 6.5, perfect. So that's looking really good so far. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of the names there. I just have one more name that I'm gonna be doing here. Okay, perfect. So now I went ahead and got the names done there. I'm gonna go ahead and hide them. 
now that I got the sizing going on that I want there. Now, since we're gonna be doing a total of five bottles there, we're gonna go ahead and use this design that I've already uploaded and I'm going to duplicate it. So what you actually do for that, you're gonna go ahead and highlight the design and there's an option here on the right that actually says duplicate. So I'm gonna press it once, twice, um, three times, four times. And so right now I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have a total of five designs. Now, um, with this, what I'm going to be doing next, it's already done, so there's not really anything I need to do outside of resizing. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing for the sizing, um, as I mentioned, I wanted the design there to be two and a half. So actually, this here, the recommended is 2.583. So I feel like that's fine for this design. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and hide each of these here so I won't be seeing it so that we can go ahead and work on the second Corinthians. Now for the second Corinthians, same thing, unlock it there. Now for this one, um, I'm going to, before I duplicate it, I'm going to go ahead and customize the size. So I'm going to unlock it. And I said I wanted that one at like three point. I think I'm going to go with, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with a 3.5 on there. Let's see what that looks like. Um, 3.5 will be good. Actually, I'm gonna do, play around with it here and see what I'm gonna like here. 3.4. I think I'm gonna go with the 3.3 there. Um, just to kind of be on the um, safe side there um, for the design. Nope, let's go with three because the, for the major design, it's a 2.5 for the I'm enough, and then the three will kind of hang on both sides there. So it's gonna look really good. So now that I've actually had that, I'm not gonna go ahead and mess with the height or anything on there, um, just because I don't necessarily need to. Um, if you're wanting to, you could, if you're, um, if you're wanting to for your project. So I have it highlighted there. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it, and I need five of them in total. Boom. So now that I have all five, um, I am ready to now print. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of uneye each of them, make them all visible on the drawing board. Now for most people, what they do, they use like a template um, to see what the design looks like. And I'm actually going to show you that really quick. Let me go ahead and hide them all really quick and show you what it looks like with a template, um, especially if you're doing t-shirts and stuff like that, it makes it very, very helpful. So um, I have them all hidden. You can go over here to the left where it actually says templates and you can choose whatever item that you have. Now, in this case, there's not um, like a really a water bottle option. So the closest thing I'm gonna choose is going to be the drinking glasses. Now, um, with the templates, this little yellow here just says it was for, it said, it went away so fast there. It says templates are for reference only and will not be saved for your project. So what I would have actually needed to do is choose my template before I actually started doing my text. But since I didn't actually do that in my project, I'm not gonna actually show you how it actually works. I'll show you guys on another video. Um, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, unhide each of these here. And it's okay if they're even laying on top of each other um, because you're going to be laying them on your items. Um, so this is just, oh, look, there we go. Here is the actual glass. So with this one here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the I'm enough so you guys can have an idea. Just keep in mind um, the bottle is a little bit different there. 
but it's really awesome because it just kind of helps you get a visual. Um, as you can see, it is a little bit outside of the dimensions. However, this is not the actual bottle that I have. That's why it's important to measure what you're going to be putting on the bottle so you know that it's the sizing that you want it to be. But just so that you guys can see what it looks like. And um, also, I'm just going to go ahead and take Haley's name and I am going to rotate it. So the little blue button there with the um, the little arrow in a circle is gonna let you rotate it so you can have an idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, now, I'm just kind of straighten it up there. You're gonna be responsible to straighten it up and making sure it's straightened on the actual bottle. Um, so that's what it's gonna kind of look like there. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and completely unhide each of the designs. Now that I have everything, everything's unhidden. Um, next thing that you're gonna wanna go ahead and do um, after you choose your font, um, choosing your and uploading your actual design, you're gonna go ahead and um, do make it. Now with these designs, um, the great thing is, is that um, you're going to be able to do everything mainly on one sheet. I am gonna be doing things on two different sheets just because um, I am going to um, be using the two different colors. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually going to hit cancel. Um, reasoning why that I want us to be, um, I want to cancel um, is because I want the names to be one color um, and then also the second Corinthians to be the same color as the names and then I'm enough another color. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and print out the most that we're needing to do first. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide the I'm enough so that it will be enough space for the names um, on one sheet there. So now on here, all you should be seeing um, is the names and the second Corinthians. Okay, um, so what I'm actually gonna be doing, um, I know I mentioned that I was gonna be doing the smaller grip sheets, but for some reason it thinks that it's not gonna be able to print um, all of the designs on one sheet. Um, so what I'm gonna do, or excuse me, on one smaller 12 by 12. So what I'm gonna do is actually use one of my longer grip sheets, which is a 12 by 24. And what you will do here But I'm typically when I'm doing multiple colors when it comes to the vinyl I color coordinate at least one or two so that I'll know when I'm doing the vinyl sheets what color I'm going to do which in this purpose I actually did red for the names and the ribbons and I just kept the I'm enough the other color And when you're ready to print, you'll go ahead and press continue. Now, in this case, I forgot to connect my Cricut machine. So I'm gonna... And now what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and refresh. If you haven't already plugged in your Cricut machine, um, I went ahead and did it here. It's gonna recognize it. It's gonna tell you the first step that you're gonna do, um, which is choosing the material that you're gonna print on. Second one is the things that you need. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my vinyl to put on my sheet. All right, now I actually have my vinyl. Um, and my grip sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down with the colored um, facing forward. I did forget to take the sticker off, so on the next one I made sure that I did that, but I also used my scraper um, to get all the air bubbles out. I'm gonna do it for each of the colors that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to vinyl. Then I'm gonna go ahead and feed my first color into the machine and press start so that it can go ahead and cut the design for me. And I'm gonna repeat that for both of the steps. I did put it on fast mode so I can go ahead and cut everything a little bit faster. All right, so, so you see that everything was successfully you, cut. Now what I'm gonna do is remove each of the vinyls from the grip sheet so I can prepare to weed it with my weeding tools.
So I'm going to go ahead and cut around each of the designs so that I can use the excess paper for another project a little bit later. And now I'm going to take my weeding tool. And what I found to work best is to weed the excess vinyl off first, leave the lettering of what I need on the actual sheet. And then I go back in when I get all of the extra vinyl off, I go in and get the um, the fillings from like the A and any small things there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up cleaning up the vinyl. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing for the pink vinyl. Again, I'm going to cut off any excess. And then we're going to go ahead and move into transferring the vinyl onto the transfer paper. All right, so I did get my Cricut transfer paper. I just made one long enough for the names that I'm going to be doing and also for the ribbons and the I'm enough. You do want to scrape the opposite, the back side of the lettering onto the transfer paper so that it can stay on there properly. I am going to use alcohol to kind of clean the surface before I put the lettering on there. Just note, you don't have to use a rubbing alcohol. However, I did it for this project. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and use your scraper tool to make sure that your name is on the bottle correctly. Take your time with taking the transfer paper off because you don't want to rip any of your letters. Also, you want to make sure that everything is on there properly. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put these two together because that's how I wanted to appear on the bottle. And so I'm just kind of repeating that same step that I did for the names. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick it onto the bottle. All right, so let's go ahead and see the final product. Mm -hmm. 